So it seems a long-standing rumor might turn out to be true based on a deleted YouTube vid. So Crash Bandicoot, we all know, recently released, what, a month ago on PlayStation. It is setting the world on fire, selling way more than a lot of people anticipated, myself included. I didn't know people were that uh, ready for the Bandicoot to come back and being one of the top sellers of the year. But it's always been interesting because in the marketing and the lead up to this game, uh, Activision and Sony never really called the game exclusive, not a single time. There was that small tweet from Ireland, but that was quickly deleted. Now, there's kind of some more proof, um, visual proof that is. I'm going to show off the video here. So, as you guys can see, if you look below, at the very bottom, right, you'll see the Crash Bandicoot's running, but you'll see the button prompts used to go through the menus is of the Xbox variety. A, B, X, Y, you know, triggers, shoulder but buttons and stuff. Now, a lot of people, the counter-argument to this is like, oh, this is just a P PC build, you, know, you plug the controller in to the PC, it automatically puts it out there, and I get that. I get that argument. However, the this was posted, this video was posted by the UI designer of the game. And then he took it down and deleted it. But of course, when you put stuff up on the internet, uh, everybody remembers and somebody downloaded it to have it for posterity. So we have the UI designer deleting his video and then people uploading mirrors. Obviously, this points to this being you know, work for the eventual Xbox release, which is kind of rumored to come out in December. Um, that would make it kind of almost a six-month timed exclusive. And to be fair, and these type of things, if the game was really exclusive and, and Sony likes to brag about their exclusivity, and so does Microsoft for that matter, uh, they would have been shouting it from the rooftops. You know, it doesn't say exclusive on the box or anything. Uh, anytime anybody's been asked about this game, uh, they avoid talking about it i remember when a pr po spokesperson was asked whether it was exclusive or not the person just answered it's going to release on playstation 4 in june and now you have the user interface designer uploading a video of you know button prompts and xbox so we can probably fairly say for certain that this game will hit xbox sometime in the future now the question then becomes will anybody care Usually late ports of a game to another system, even if they're extremely popular, don't sell as much as the original. A lot of the PlayStation, uh, a lot of the love that Crash Bandicoot has is from PlayStation fans. Even though Crash Bandicoot has been on Xbox before, original Xbox and Xbox 360, I've played a few of those games myself. Um, I don't know if Xbox gamers really have that attachment to Crash, the, you know, the Naughty Dog's... Um, series of games so i'm gonna be interesting to see how this game performs uh especially when it comes out in december games particularly don't do very well then but crash maybe maybe the nostalgia will help it sell but personally e i probably don't i honestly don't really care about uh this game i <sighs> Yeah, I mean, I played a few crashes. I, I think I played the first one back on PlayStation, and I didn't really particularly care for it very much. I played some of the later ones. I don't know if I played two or three, but I just it just doesn't do anything for me. I know a lot of other people enjoy it, but even if when it when when it comes out, I'm not even going to say if because it's it's pretty pretty obvious this game's coming out for Xbox at some point. Uh, based on nobody calling it exclusive and now these button prompts showing up in the vid. Um, yeah, I'm probably not going to play the game. There's way too many other games to play um, that I need to get around to. And I'm, I'm not going to go back to Crash. Anyways, I, I, I thought I'd share this with you guys because it is kind of seen to be the talk of the town. A lot of people seem to be upset. A lot of PlayStation fans seems to seem to be upset by the fact that Crash isn't exclusive to PlayStation, which is kind of weird. But anyways, um, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Are you excited for Crash to come to Xbox? Do you think 
uh, all this. Do you, do you really think this game is still exclusive to PlayStation, even after all the evidence uh, presented to you? I mean, did the UI designer really take down his video because he uploaded, uh, you know, PC uh, stuff? Or what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to check it all out. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Later.